Would you ever fly the worst airline in the entire world? Because according to Google, Ryanair has been voted the world's worst short haul airline for six years in a row. And they're so bad that they have literally become a meme. So today I'm gonna be flying Ryanair to see if they're really as bad as what everyone says, but the reviews are honestly terrifying. Apparently, messy planes, delays, hidden fees, and the worst landings imaginable are all normal for Ryanair. And honestly, I'll be lucky if the plane doesn't crash after reading this, but there's also another problem. Ryanair only operates in Europe, so being a Canadian, that means I need to fly all the way there just to see how bad they actually were. So obviously, I booked the cheapest flight I could, and after appreciating my final time on a decent airline, nine hours later, I found myself in Rome, Italy. Now, over the next few days, I traveled to the smallest country in the world because I had to kill some time before my Ryanair flight, but now it was finally time to see if it was actually as bad as the reviews said. All right, so today I'm taking a one hour Ryanair flight from Rome to a city called Palermo, and already things are off to a terrible start. Last night I had to do the check in process for my flight, and literally the worst case scenario ended up happening. So I was going through the normal check in process where you have to avoid all of the hidden fees that Ryanair tries to hit you with, and by accident I ended up buying a bag that I didn't actually. Need. And when I finally got to the end of the check-in process, it wouldn't even work. So I'm trying to contact customer service at Ryanair, and every time I try and sign in, it says my IP isn't permitted. So that means I can't change the bag that I bought by accident, and I can't even check into my flight. All because Ryanair's customer service and website was absolutely useless. So at this point, I'm literally praying that they're gonna be able to fix it at the gate. And on top of that, I don't even know if they're gonna be able to let me on my flight. And that's thanks to our good old friend COVID, because in Europe, the travel restrictions are completely different from in Canada. Because because in Italy and in all of Europe, you apparently need three doses to be considered fully vaccinated for travel. And in Canada, you only need two. I am beyond stressed out right now. But you know what? Let's see what happens. So now it was time to see if everything was going to work out or if I would end up being stranded in Rome after not being allowed on my flight. So I left my Airbnb and after a 30 minute trip to the airport, I finally ended up making it just in time before checking closed. All right, time to see if Ryanair is actually the worst airline in the world. Hello. Hello. Um, I had a question. Yes. So I paid for this to be checked. Is there any way I could switch it to like an overhead or is that not possible? You have the boarding pass? Yeah, yeah, I do. I can see. No priority. But even though I paid for that to be checked, I can't switch okay. it? If you want to, you can pay for priority and you can take with you on board. Now, some of you guys may be confused here, so let me explain this a little bit better. Unlike other airlines where you're allowed to bring a carry-on for absolutely free, on Ryanair, you have to pay extra. And by accident, I ended up buying a checked piece of baggage for 30 euros instead of the cheaper option, which is the carry-on. So, okay. You want to send or you want to take with you? I'll, I'll send it, I guess. 20 euro, you can... Uh, I'll just, I'll send it. Okay. And instead of switching it to the cheaper option, he instead tried to sell me on buying another carry-on on top of what I already bought. So obviously I was angry and I ended up googling why I wasn't allowed to change. And apparently it is Ryanair policy to not allow customers to do this. So thankfully I'm going to be allowed on the plane, but that whole bag process was a pain in the ass. So Ryanair really does just want to scam people out here. Now after going through security and getting yelled at for filming, I ended up finding my gate only to realize that I went to the wrong one. And my my actual gate was on the other side of the airport. And at this point, my flight was supposed to be boarding, so I had to run as fast as I could, but when I got there, I realized that my flight was delayed with zero reason given by Ryanair. But the real test here is gonna be the flight because that is what we came here for. So hopefully it goes better than the reviews said. Now after about 30 minutes, Ryanair finally began boarding, but for some reason they still never acknowledged the delay, but all that matters is I was finally gonna be able to experience what a Ryanair flight was actually like, and I was totally caught off guard. The first thing that happened was we ended up taking off an hour late, which is a bad look, but what was even weirder was the flight was pretty much a store in the sky. Unlike other airlines, there was no compliment drink or food and halfway through the flight they were trying to sell perfume which was super weird and on top of that the AC wasn't really working the floors were still messy from the flight before but the most surprising thing of all was that the landing was actually smooth now even though the flight wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be there are some things that we should probably talk about the whole point of this video is to see if Ryanair is actually the worst airline in the entire world and there was no way that one flight is enough to determine if they actually 
actually are or not. So now after a few days enjoying Palermo and relaxing, it was now time for a second flight on Ryanair and things got off to another horrible start. So right now I'm doing the check-in for the second Ryanair flight and we've run into a little bit of a problem. Remember earlier when I was telling you guys that I wasn't able to check into my first flight? Well, guess what? The exact same thing ended up happening again this time. And exactly like before, I went to go contact customer support and my IP was somehow blocked for whatever reason and they were absolutely useless. And what made things even worse is that apparently the first time when I actually managed to check in and I bought the wrong bag on accident, it actually applied to this flight as well. And because of Ryanair's stupid policy, there is no way that this was going to change. But what made things even more stressful is that this time, if my bag didn't show up or it was late for whatever reason, I would end up missing my flight back to Canada. So the stakes were higher than ever. All right, so my next flight back to Rome leaves here in about four hours. So that means we have to get all the way back to the bus station and hopefully we make it to the airport in time. So after leaving my Airbnb and walking to the bus station with all of my bags, I managed to get the only bus that would get me to my flight on time. And after an hour of driving, I finally made it to the airport. Now, apparently everyone else in Palermo was flying out at the exact same time as me because the security was insane. But luckily I got through and this time Ryanair didn't delay the flight. So I was able to get on without any issues. Now, similar to the last flight, the AC wasn't working. The cabin was still messy and the flight attendants were still trying to sell perfume but overall it was another smooth flight and the landing was just as good as last time and thankfully Ryanair didn't lose my bag so after grabbing them and getting on my flight back to Canada it was now time to determine if Ryanair was truly the world's worst airline all right, so I've been thinking about this for a few days now, and I think the only way to give them an accurate rating is by dividing this into three different categories. First up, we have the people working at Ryanair. So earlier in the video when I was complaining that the guy wouldn't let me change my bags, I don't blame him because I know he was just doing his job. And besides that, every person from Ryanair that I talked to, whether it was the crew or person that checked you in, it was actually a really good interaction. Now the second thing is their customer service, which is absolutely shit. By far, I could confidently say they are the worst airline in terms of customer service. Their website is absolutely horrible. From my experience, their online support was non-existent and their policies are outright stupid. So in terms of that, yes, Ryanair is terrible. But now in terms of the flight itself, it's a little bit of a tricky one. Historically, Ryanair has been known for some pretty terrible landings. But honestly, the flight itself was pretty much like any any other flight I've been on. The only things that I can complain about are the messy floors and the AC wasn't working, which kind of sucked. So now is Ryanair the world's worst airline? No. And I think the most important thing that I do have to mention is that Ryanair is a budget airline. Sometimes you can get tickets as cheap as $15. That's like going to McDonald's and expecting a five-star meal or buying a Honda Civic and expecting it to drive like a Lamborghini. And because they're so cheap, I would probably fly them again. 